Hello, I hope you're all doing very well. Um, it's May, which means I'm going to be painting some mermaids, obviously, and I'm also going to be testing out some new paper and paints that I bought. Before that, this is my new sketchbook and I feel like it's only fitting to show you um, right now because it feels very mermaidy to me with the blues and the golds. Um, I love these sketchbooks because the paper um, I can use watercolour on them, like they're just thick enough, but not too thick and special that you feel like you're wasting every page with silly sketches. This is the brand of sketchbook in case you're interested in getting one for yourself. Here are all the mermaids that I've painted so far this month. I think there are eight here and I've got two left to go um, of this size. Basically, I decided um, after a bit of research on the brand I was going to swap to of watercolour paper, um, which is Arsh, I believe it was pronounced. Um, I always thought it was called Arches, but apparently not. Um, this top one is painted on hot press paper, and this bottom one here is painted on cold press paper. You can see the textures are very different. The hot pressed is smoother, and the cold pressed is more bumpy. I couldn't quite decide on whether I wanted hot pressed or cold pressed. I was leaning towards hot pressed with the smoother texture, but I wanted to be sure, so I ordered this sample pack. That came with five pieces of cold pressed paper and five pieces of hot pressed and I decided to make little mermaid drawings on all of them and sell them this month which not only kind of motivated me to get started with my mermaids but also felt like a really good way to test the papers and decide on my favorite. Here's my new paint setup. This is a new ceramic palette that I bought. I love mixing my colours on ceramic for a number of reasons. Um, you can wipe it up and it completely takes all the colour away. There's no staining like there is on plastic. The water distributes very well when you put it down. If you use metal to mix your colours on, you'll find that it often like beads up and constricts um, into these little balls of liquid. And I also thought this palette was pretty cool because it's in a big circle and you can put your colours around in the colour wheel um, to help you kind of remember, you know, where your cools and your warms and like what colours go together. I just thought it would be extra handy in helping me remember my colour theory. Also, these paints are new. Um, the brand is Daniel Smith and this is my first time buying liquid tube forms of watercolour paint and then squeezing them out and letting them dry so I can use them as the lovely hard pigments that I so enjoy. I did a lot of research beforehand of what you know new brands and colors I wanted to try out um, and so far I'm pretty happy with all my choices and I'm really loving the new paint setup I have. Now I know I could technically you know use cold and hot pressed paper depending on what mood and what day it is but I like to just choose one specific paper and only use that. Watercolour is already quite unpredictable and flowy as it is so to get the most control over my paintings I think it's best to limit the supplies and become very used to the ones that I do use a lot as well as the fact that when I prefer one paper over the other well I'd generally prefer to use that all the time wouldn't I? Right after my first two paintings, one on hot pressed and one on cold pressed, I decided right away which one I preferred, which just as I thought was the hot pressed paper. Um, and I'll explain why. So this first drawing that I'm painting right here, um, this is on the cold pressed paper. And the bumpiness can make a number of things happen when you're drawing and painting, which many people do like, but I don't necessarily enjoy skipping of the pen over certain areas. When you've got more raised bumpy surfaces, it's harder to get your paint and your paper to go as smoothly and evenly everywhere, which can create some variation and fun texture, um, but I just don't necessarily like that as much. I find that with my style of drawing and painting, I don't really need a lot of extra help in creating the sketchy look or the broken lines. I tend to do that quite naturally. What I do want is a bit more reliability of, you know, a smooth surface. Let's say when I go to ink a very tiny dainty nose or eye, I don't want it to skip or just act weirdly on the paper. A smoother surface allows me more control. And 
here is the next painting I'm working on, which is on hot pressed paper, my preferred paper, as a little comparison for you. Another reason I prefer the hot pressed paper is that it scans more cleanly. As you can see, even from the video, me videoing the paper, I think, is that these little bumps create a little bit of shadow in the paper because let's say, you know, when the sun hits it, if there's more up and down and the texture is a bit bumpy, it'll create these tiny little shadows which show up even on a scanner. Whereas a smooth paper, you know, everything, you know, the light and the paint, everything hits it more evenly. I generally just prefer my scans to be smoother and to focus on the painting rather than the paper texture. My final reason for preferring the hot press paper is that um, in my experience I think a smoother, less fibrous paper is less prone to damage from erasing a lot and from many layers of paint. The only time I had any trouble with these 10 little practice illustrations I had was with the cold press paper when I did a lot of erasing on it. Um, I found I had a little a little bit of the similar problems I had with my old paper of the water not taking very well to the paper because it had been damaged quite a bit with the erasing and or multiple layers of water. I just generally find the smoother paper accepts the water and the erasing and I guess my just rougher style of approaching a painting better. After all those reasons um, of why I prefer the hot press paper, I don't think there's anything wrong with the cold press paper. I think it was definitely wonderful to work on. Um, I just preferred the hot press paper. I liked working on it more. Um, I really enjoyed the process and as an outcome, I prefer the paintings that were done on the hot press to the cold press. I just like the look of them. So I think that's the best way to decide um, at the end of the day which one's your favourite is like what do you enjoy more and what feels more comfortable to paint on for you. So naturally I went on and I bought a bunch of the hot press paper um, and it arrived and I've been painting on it and it's been brilliant. My most recent piece with the mermaid sunken treasure which is on Instagram if you've seen it there I videoed it and I'm going to share that video hopefully here soon. I'm just editing it. There are still a couple of these little mini paintings up in my Etsy shop. Um, the link is down below if you want to go and check them out. Um, if you're still here, thanks for sticking around and watching this video. Hope you have a beautiful week and I'll talk to you soon.